Hi everyone, Dave Mitchell from Baby Renovations and it's the end of week four of our Wimborne Avenue project in Mount Eliza. It's starting to take a lot of shape now. Um, this week has been action-packed again. Um, a lot of it was framing, so you are now looking at uh, the, new, the new pantry here. Um, we've built a wall uh, where those ladders are. Um, you can see it just comes out a little bit here. That's where the new fridge is going to sit. Um, across on this side here, this column needs to obviously stay in place. It's holding the weight of this beam here and, and also some weight up in inside the roof. Um, you can see there we have replaced this week uh, a ceiling joist. Fix that up. Also, the plumbers um, got up on the roof uh, where this old chimney was. Obviously, this massive hole in the floor was a double-sided brick chimney. Three huge uh, trailer loads of bricks come out of there. Um, so you can see the beam that we've put up in the roof there. Um, but also, uh, so the plumbers have replaced the tin on the roof. Um, so that's all done now. They've also... Um, put in um uh you know the cow like the ducting there for the new range hood which goes in here you can see that our electricians run a really large um electrical cable there for that and the new gas point for the oven is in there as well um so yeah basically this week um you can see there's a new cavity door that's been put in there um for this pantry and we basically reframed if i go to the other side um that whole wall we were going to keep it uh, but you can even see from the window across which will be i believe like a little study nook or something uh we've actually just uh ended up reframing the entire wall the the walls in old houses and this is quite an old home are so out of plumb they're nowhere near straight. It's really hard to get them straight because the timber is um, really old and hard. And the other thing, they're 94 mil, so they're four inch, whereas the new, the new timber frames are 90 mil. So the four mil difference from the old timber to the new makes it very difficult uh, when you're trying to marry up new, new with the old. Um, so you can see here we have framed this column out, and that column's to stay. Um, and then on this side here, we actually removed this little nib wall. It used to it used to come out to here. It was a really big wall, and we didn't we didn't see the need for it. So we've actually put that shorter nib wall in, framed that up. Um, so that's new. And then obviously uh, we've doubled it up just to keep in with the with the rest of the house. You can see here the columns are, are quite large. So and you know this wall here, this dividing wall is quite large as well. So. We just thought, why not just keep in with the rest of the house? Um, so the double um, doors have been put in there. So they're um, cavity doors, like two sliding doors will close together. And it really opens the house up to the rest of the, um, the rooms. Um, and then obviously, I think I spoke to you about, well, I mentioned in my last video. So down here, you used to enter the hallway here. So we've actually framed that in now and then straightened that wall. You can see all the packers on the walls. Um, you can see all, all this packing, all this individual packing. Um, and we've um, blocked out some of that there. So you can see how this timber is sticking out further than this. That's to basically straighten the wall. So we put those bits of timber in so that the wall ends up really nice and straight. So that whole wall there, that's been straightened. Um, and you can see also through to the to the hallway there, we've removed this week a lot of the timber flooring that was put in. Um, with all of the plaster that's left over for the rest of these rooms in here, we couldn't quite get to the floor. So you can see the boards are still, still there, um, but here they've been removed. So there's actually tile underlay and then self-leveling agent that still needs to be removed this week. But a lot of the boards have actually been pulled up in a lot of the house and we just don't understand underneath the, the floor. See, that's all self-leveling agent on that. Um, it's a really hard compound that people use uh, or tradesmen use underneath flooring. Um, and you can see it's been, it's been used in this front section too. But then underneath, 
their self-leveling agent is, are these gorgeous old boards. Um, and I did touch on this last week uh, where, yeah, quite often people go over the boards. Uh, so this is the front room. Um, you can see it's all been pulled up. Um, that's some of the timber there. Uh, and yeah, again, you can see over here how beautiful the boards are that are underneath. So we're, we've still got to grind back this week. We'll have to grind all this back with a concrete grinder and have a look at the conditions of the boards underneath. If they're good, then we'll be able to use them. If they're no good, we'll go over the top. But uh, at this stage, I mean, look, you've got little sections like this. So this is just chipboard. And you can see here where it goes from timber and then you've all of a sudden got this patch of just chipboard so we don't quite know why they've done that but um, until we grind all of the self the self leveling agent off the top we won't really be able to tell so uh during the week the all of the plastering in the wet areas was completed so you can see here the in wall cistern is in behind that plasterboard there, uh, you can see the drain point. Uh, you can see where we've, you know, patched any holes and so forth in the walls and then sanded them. So this room's absolutely perfect, ready to go. Uh, and it's all been waterproofed. Uh, the guys came in yesterday uh, and waterproofed this toilet. They've also waterproofed the main bathroom. So you can see all the floors are done. The shower area is completely done. Um, you know, one of our custom bases in over there, and then obviously where the bath goes, that's all been done as well, uh, and the and the niche has been done, um, and again all plastered. So this week, this was all plastered. There's a brand new ceiling that's been installed in this room, um, and obviously WR board or what we call AquaCheck plasterboard sheets have been used on the walls. All on the floor was uh, tile underlay, of course, and then out in here, um, also the laundry. So as you saw in the previous video or photos, we framed this wall out. We brought it out about 90 mil, so it was equal with the other side, married in really well. And again, uh, it's all been plastered, ready for tiling, ready for cabinetry, um, and again, the entire floor is waterproofed properly, all in every corner, right, right the way around. And then obviously, uh, where there's no tiles and so forth, um, it's all plastered and, and looking really good, ready for paint or tiles. Um, and again, so... In that room, electrical, in the wet rooms, the electrical's done, the, the rough in plumbing's done. Um, uh, one thing up here that we did um, this week, when you used to come in the front door here, you actually couldn't turn any lights on until we're up there, which is crazy. Like, we have no idea why. So we've actually put in lights, new lights, which is these ones, where you don't need to wire it. It's actually wireless. So now, when you come in, you've actually got lights that you can put on that come on, you just saw those come on from where I'm standing. Um, so much better. At least when you walk in the door now, you can actually turn a light on in the dark. So a lot of the electrical has been done upstairs as well this week. Obviously, um, it's an ongoing project. There's so much to do. There's all new um, down lights throughout, like LEDs um, being installed. And then if we quickly go downstairs, um, we have also sheeted the ensuite. So this is the ensuite. Uh, brand new ceiling's gone in. Um, and as, as you can see, there's an in-wall toilet there um, ready for um, tiling now down in here after obviously waterproofing. We've also put the, the vanities in the wall. So they've been recessed into the wall. Same as upstairs, these ones are individual, um, obviously centered over the basins. We removed in this room three of the bulkheads. So there's a bulkhead on this side, which had to stay. Um, and that's because uh, there's a big beam in the roof there. But the other three um, on, on, if you look at previous videos and, 
And for the clients, there used to be a big bulkhead around these walls and this one. There's just no need for it. The room feels so much bigger without it, um, you know, much higher and so forth. So, uh, yeah, and uh, obviously the slab was cut. We cut the drainage in. We moved the drain point from the center across to the back of the wall so we could put a strip grate in there. Uh, and then we built a big niche in the wall for the shower. And, uh, of course, it was all plumbed in, shower head, handheld, and then a mixer diverter. So this week, we didn't quite get up to screeding the floor here, but we will definitely do that this week. So we'll just grind a little bit in here, just take the top off a little bit, and then um, screed it so it's all perfect, ready for waterproofing. So we'll waterproof that one. In the, uh, in the ensuite, not a lot's been done. Uh, obviously, um, we just have put some insulation in the wall there because that's a window in there. So um, this is um, not far off being ready for plaster, uh, for cabinetry. It's full carcass cabinetry. So, you know, timber on the backs of the cab on the cupboards as well. We'll remove the carpet in this room. So that was an, um, a variation. So you can see all there, all of the um, insulation in the bathroom as well. Um, this carpet is now coming out of this room. It wasn't originally coming out, but it is. So there's new carpet coming in uh, to this main bedroom. Plus, in this little hallway here, we're going to put timber. Um, beautiful new timber. So that's a really good inclusion. I'm so glad they're doing that because everything else would have been brand new. And then this would have been, you know, very, very old. Once you put new bathrooms and new robes and stuff in, it makes everything else look really old. So I'm really happy for them in that respect. So again, um, the electrical is all roughed in in here. The plumbing is all done. The plastering is all done. So we're up to waterproofing and then we can tile it. Uh, so by the end of next week, realistically, if we haven't started some of the tiling, uh, we'll definitely be starting it the week after. I think we're waiting on tiles this due to arrive this week. So we're actually a little bit ahead of where we need to be this week. Um, really, really proud of the guys. Uh, this is just a massive improvement. It is so much more open now. If you look at previous videos um, of what it used to look like, it, that was a chimney and that wall was full. And then there was just a little doorway through there and there was a big wall there. So to look at it the way it is now and knowing what is going to happen, I'm really excited for the clients, really excited. We are deleting, that was the other thing, we deleted a, an electrical uh, split system, air conditioning split system there, and this smaller one, this five kilowatt, is going to be upgraded to an eight kilowatt, and that should make a massive difference as well for them, just for the comforts you need. In summer, uh, there's ducted, um, ducted heating, so these points, are all being moved and patched um, to positions where you know where it's it's much much better suited i think for instance there's two close together here there's one here and then there's one there i mean it's because there used to be a wall between them just doesn't function like that anymore so these these um these will all have to be moved i'm pretty sure there's one under here as well yeah there's one there which is definitely not going to suit either because uh there's along there there's all cabinetry like study desks and so forth so we'll have to move that one as well so a little bit to do this week uh but a lot has been done again during week four of the build um yeah couldn't be prouder of my team they're brilliant um so if you're watching and you want to get a renovation to your home get in touch we'd love to talk to you we love doing renovations like this Thanks for watching.